good morning good afternoon good evening depending on the time you are viewing the video you are welcome to Amalicha's graphics today I will be teaching you guys on how to use the app pixel app so let's start first of all you go to your play store google play store you download your pixel app app install it on your phone then let's launch the pixel app app when you launch your app your pixel app app this is how the thing looks like this is the background of the pixel app app as you can see here we have a lot of background which you can use to walk as you can see a lot of background that you can use now let's start from the up from this cross arrow here over here we have text here if you want to light anything if you want to light anything you go to text you click on text you light anything you want to light this one current date see the date has shown if you want to put the date just click on the current date and date will insert another one is sticker as you can see the sticker has opened as you can see if you want to use any sticker any MJOS can use it to work over here we have shapes here if you want to import any shape you want to use any shape to work you come to shape you click on shape click on this small arrow here click on it so you can see look at some of the shapes that you can use in pixel app we have square circle semicircle and so on you choose any one you want to use and use it to work okay now we have from gallery yeah, if you want to import any picture you want to use any picture click on on that you import any picture you want to use import pictures any picture at all that you want to use when you click on it see the picture have shown as you can see this picture the background is changed maybe in my next video I'm going to teach you guys on how to change the background of an image the easiest way to do that as you can see this image is changed the background is changed okay let's delete it okay over here is, is draw if you want to draw anything as you can see depending on how you want to draw it and what you want to draw so you can see draw it any shape you want to draw draw the drawing you click on ok all right now this this one is also shape if you want to use shape you can come to this place and use shape so here if you want to rotate you see if you want to move the shape you can move the shape okay there's this one if you want to delete something click on this one click ok as you can see the object has been deleted the same thing here click ok you delete it okay over here this arrow here is when you want to bring back what you deleted before you will be clicking on this thing all the work you deleted will be coming out as you can see all the pictures are deleted has been restored back here if you want to zoom in 
click here you zoom in click here you zoom out okay here is save when you want to save something you click on here it's the save icon we have save as project we have save as image if you finish working you can come to this place and save it over here we have share here you you can share as you can see quick share you can share to facebook twitter google whatsapp or any platform you want to share it you can share here we have some quotations already imported quotations that is inside the pixel app as you can see if there is anyone you like you can come over to this place and pick it it's a motivational quote now we have the guideline tools so you can see if you want to press anything you click on the guideline tools you press it so you can see the guideline tools will help you to position the thing very well after doing you remove it over here we have use image from gallery full screen use image from camera export image image size contact us tutorials and so on over here is the same thing with what i said earlier if you want to select image you come over to this place you pick image from your gallery this one is full screen the, the thing will be full you will see it very clear now it's use image from camera click here it will go to your camera you import anything you want to import this one is a export if you want to export image you click on it on this export icon you export the image here is the image size over here we have customs we have square we have profile square we have youtube channel banner youtube thumbnail and so on depending on the one you want to use okay here you choose you insert the shape you want to use okay let's use normal shape size which is 2280 okay so you can see this is the normal shape size okay over here if you want to if you have data on your phone you click on this tutorial as you can see the thing has has been loading okay remove ad as you can see the thing is loading but there is no network now if you have network you remove any ad you want to remove recover auto save if you want to recover anything you you worked before you click on auto save recover you recover it if you want to open any file click on open the thing will open okay this one about if you want to know about the pixel app, app you come over here you read it and see it then this one is exist if you want to exist from this app if you want to close the app you click on exist okay now let's enter to the tools proper here we have edit over here okay when you choose a shape you come here you edit it this one is opacity as you can see you do it like this okay here after doing it you choose a color for it you can use color you can use gradient over here we have stroke white as you can see if you want to give it a stroke from here you give it the stroke white if you want to add the opacity you click on this opacity the same thing apply here you add the color bro reduce as you can see the thing is showing okay after you click okay as you can see now 
here is the we have the delete icon here the thing has been deleted now over here we have crop if you want to crop any picture come over to this place crop it out now this one we have copy okay we have copy if you want to copy this shape into two or more you click on copy As you can see the thing is two now you copy and use it and do what you want to do this one is to front if you want to bring anything if you click on okay let's use this one if you click on to front the thing will come over if you click on to back the thing will go to back this one is position if you want to position anything you come to position tools you can you you can move by px that is if you want to move, move it fast you can do it like this as you can see the thing is moving fast if you want to move it slowly you reduce it the thing is doing slowly okay we have relative position this one is want to you when you want to position it up down center left and right here we have relative size you want to reduce the size of the object you are doing with come to relative size we reduce it here is texture if you want to add any texture to, your, to the text you are if you want to make use of come to texture you use it okay let me, yes, let me just show you an instance now let's just let's just edit something now okay let's use this okay okay so you can see this word if you want to add texture to it click on texture you allow it to open click on this you can use this growth as a texture okay click on it so you can see see this text now i have added text to texture to it okay let's delete it okay let's move over to opacity opacity is want to, when you want to fit something inside the object or inside the background you use opacity as you can see it's you flip it inside you flip it outside that is the work of opacity here is rotate when you want to rotate your object come to rotate you rotate it over here we have max this one is very important if you want to max any object let's just select a picture now see how to mask object if you are new to my channel always remember to subscribe and click on the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i post a new video okay let's click on max okay if you want to max this object now okay see max and it thing has max in max out see depending on what you want to do after you click ok as you can see we have maxed out this place this particular place now okay here we have color filter as you can see the color has changed as you can see we are changing the color we are changing the color if you want to do saturation you okay as you can see the thing is showing okay brightness you, it's okay leave it to your desired text contrast if you want to increase it you increase it okay now this one is stroke if you want to add stroke to any object come to stroke click on the 
and any color you want then you increase it with stroke wide so you can see the thing is increasing depending on what you want to do and how you want to do it okay after you leave it this one is eraser if you want to erase any background come over to this place okay click on this one if you want to cut cut this okay put it like this click here you click here then you click here as you can see I've released some part of this object now click here as you can see see I have released some part of this object so you can see how the object is now that is the work of eraser I've talked about marks then we have erase color this is one when you want to remove it maybe the background of any object you want to use come to this erase color remove the background but this one is a picture you cannot do it with the picture then this one is a rotating to rotate anything you want to rotate to the, any direction you want after you click ok we have 3d rotates this one as you can see this one is for letters when you want to rotate it rotate it as you can see when you want to rotate it like this rotate it when you want to rotate it like this you rotate it okay then we have 3d shape this one is mainly for letters not pictures when you want to add any 3d text you go to 3d shape you do whatever you want to do okay let's use this letter here let's go to 3d okay 3d shape you can see okay go to 3d click on it as you can see are you seeing the date something is happening to it now I'm increasing the depth after you click OK over here we have 3d shadow when you want to add shadow to the to the text click on 3d shadow you add shadow to it you have reflection where you want the object or the letter you are making use of to reflect as you can see the thing is showing at the bottom of the letter that is the work of this 3d reflection okay here we have background when you want to add background to the text so you can see it you add background here we have alignment you want to align to the left side or the right side or the center when you want to justify you click here you justify here we have spacing when you want to space you come here so you can see I'm spacing the thing I'm spacing it with the same thing apply here you space it there is line spacing we want to space you see you give gap as you can see you space it we have shadow when you want to add shadow to any text click on shadow click on any color you want you use it in a shadow so when you want to add shadow inside the text click on it select any color you want to select and make use of its perspective this one is just like the guideline so you can see when you want to make use of the guideline you can use perspective okay I've talked about this one okay then here is when you want to board anything click on board 
this one is italic size underline as you can see the thing when you click on underline the thing has underlined over here is font when you want to make use of any font come over to this place as you can see over here you can see this one is download font maybe i'm going to make a video on how to teach you guys how to download font and install it on your phone this is how to make use of font okay i've talked about this one this one is padding see when you want to move text you can use padding see As you can see the same thing here if you want to pad it with light you can do it okay then over here we have imports we have talked about it talked about it i'm just trying to teach you guys the basic tools in pixel app i've talked about this thing to be easier it's just like max to if you want to add anything to anything any text you can use this piezo to add it as you can see you can use it to make any shape any style you want you can see you can add color to this thing now and make use of it okay now over here we have color this one is for when you want to change the background color you come over to this place look at it here click on this icon click on color click red as you can see the thing has changed blue same thing click ok here we have transparency when you want to maybe you want to flip something inside the background click on transparent you breed it okay over here we have image size the same thing with what we said before here image the same thing this one is already installed image in the pixel app i've talked about this one before okay here is from gallery when you want to import background you can come over to this place i've talked about this one also okay trying to see I don't want these videos to be very long so that's why let me summarize by explaining the work of all these tools here here is rotate when you want to rotate something you can rotate it from here here is vignette here so you can see see you can you can add color let's use yellow so you can see you do it like this Thing we are, as you can see, do it like this. The thing will move. Okay, here we have noise. As you can see, when you want to make use of it, you can make use of it. We will decrease from here. As you can see, here we have trips. When you want to add something like lines in your background, as you can see, when you want, to, as you can see the line now. Can reduce it, you can increase it. Here is brightness when you want to brighten the background. Come over to this brightness, you brighten it. Here is contrast when you want to you make use of contrast. You come over to this contrast to make use of it. Okay, huge. The same thing here. See make use of it then the last one here is saturation when you want to make use of it come over to saturation you saturate okay now let's summarize let's summarize like i said earlier if you want to change the image size you come to this icon click on image size you change it you want to delete anything you delete as you can see I'm deleting everything as you can see I believe I've touched all the tools here in pixel lab the work 
okay here we have stickers okay i've talked about this one also talked about this one also all these things i've talked about it this one is allo you can make use of allo to do anything in your work as you can see you can add something as you can see you make use of it that is it thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel click on the notification icon so that you'll be notified whenever i post a new video thank you Let me bless